Hey everybody, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas BB Gun Run. You actually join us back in Nipton because, uh, well, I went online and I was looking for BB guns that I missed, and apparently there's one right there. Yeah. In this house in Nipton. So, yeah. Um, there's a couple more that we're going to pick up real quick. There's one in Nellis Air Force Base. Hey, guys. So cool if I come inside, right? Okay. Yeah, right, Nellis. There's actually two in Nellis Air Force Base, which means it's a real good place to go for BB guns. Um... One's in the kids' barracks, and one's in the schoolhouse. So yeah, that's where we're going. If I can remember where any of that stuff is. Oh, I'm starving. Boo-hoo. Gonna be thirsty, too. Uh, but I got food, so not a big deal. Uh, there. Leave me alone. Alright. So, make our way pet this way, past the obviously not loaded in warehouse textures. Now, ah, there we go. Thanks, game. Those are all boarded up, huh? Must be this way then. Another glorious day in this man's army. Thanks, Mr. Gutsy. You do good work. I should probably, you know, just since I've found these places already. Uh, right, I should always come in on the hangers because it's closer. Pearls, women's, oil. Right, children's bricks, that way. Evening. Pay no attention to the guy breaking into the children's barracks in the dead of night to steal their BB guns. What's detecting me? I don't know. It said it was between a bookshelf. Aha! Yeah, I think I should lose more karma, karma for, you know... Stealing children's BB guns. Ooh, also, yes, uh, sometimes they can randomly spawn in. Uh, am I detected? Who is detecting me? You can't kill children, so that's not going to fix it. I want to steal these BBs. That's like a hundred. That's a lot of BBs. another BB gun in there, but I can't get to it because I'm detected. Alright. Well, I have a plan, but first we're going to find the schoolhouse, because yeah. Is it this way? Uh, local map. Barracks, 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 barracks. Schoolhouse, right that away. There's another BB gun, and schoolhouse that we're gonna go get nope that's pearls barracks don't want to break into there schoolhouse right it's one of the these types of buildings why are you still here teacher uh, you have no good books stop looking at me so yeah, there's this very easy lock text we're going to break into. And in here we have more BBs. A BB gun. And some books. Nice. I didn't take those. Alright. 
They have a lot of books in here. Well, that's good for them. Teaching's good stuff. Learn that education. Alright. Now we're just going to wait till tomorrow. All the kids have to go to school. Then we're going to break into their house and steal their toys. For, for perfectly legitimate reasons. Nope, this is the wrong barracks. Sorry, ladies. I wanted to break into the children's barracks, not the ladies' barracks. Mm hmm. Alright, uh. Yeah, kids are over here. And, oh. Nope, I went into the wrong place again, didn't I? Yes, I did. Sorry. Sorry, my bad. Uh, right. Oh, it's right over here, it looks like. <laughs> Why are you still in bed, kid? Go away. Yeah, wake up. Hi. Go to school. Whoa. You're the outsider? What are you doing here? Just passing through. Go to school. Exorcist that much? Alright. Let's see if we can get hidden. Oop, I was sitting there for a second. There we go. Take your BBs and your gun. Yes, I know I'm losing karma. I do not care. No, I'm not going to take your stuff if it's in a BB gun. That'd just be weird. Okay, we're hidden. And more BBs. BB gun. <laughs> yeah, so if you need some spare BB guns, turn that out in Nellis Air Force Base is a great place to go. Uh, we'll swing by Good Spring Source so we can get some water. Maybe took up some meat if I got some. And then uh, we'll swing by Major Knight to uh, um, get him to repair our BB guns. Should have a bunch now, which is pretty great. And I cook. can't cook anything. Do I have any lands life books? Maybe I do. Yeah, two. I read one of these, can I cook something? Yeah, I can make a Brahmin state. Sweet. Uh, now we'll eat that Brahmin steak and these dog steaks. Alright, looks good. We'll swing by Mojave Outpost. Over here. Hello. Been doing a lot of good work. Yeah, I just repair my guns. And goodbye. And with that, we have repaired. Yeah, we got eight of them now. Nice. That's gonna keep us and quite a few BBs. So now we're going to head back over to Novak and start doing some quests there. Ooh, it's night. What time is it? Yeah, 9.30. Alright, let's go talk to um, these people with the ranch, which isn't much of a ranch. 
Dusty Bright. Hey, Dusty. Hey there. You're from out of town, ain't you? Name's Dusty. What do you do here in Novak? Oh, I tend to my ranch. That's about it. I also tell you, I don't get out a whole lot. How's business lately? You must mean what's left of it. Somebody's been attacking our animals at night. We're down to less than half of what we had a few weeks back. Tell me what you know about the attacks. Every night around midnight, Alice and I wake up to some crazy hollering and gunshot. You'd think the world was ending all over again. But it's just one animal each night. We don't take it or carve it up or nothing. Just leave it there, all full of holes. I'll see if I can catch whoever's responsible. We'd be grateful. Especially if you find them before they get my whole stock. But don't go getting yourself killed over it. Alice and I'll find a way to make do. Always have. Alright. Did you get a look at the attacker? Beg your pardon, mister, but them two-headed beeves ain't worth getting shot over. Not to mention what would happen if half of what Nobark says is true. Best we can hope is that whoever's doing this will move on or get tired of it. I just hope it happens while we still got animals left. Whoever it is, I don't think they're from around town. Seems like they've taken to shooting from the west side. Mm, Alright. So yeah, if we head outside, and it's, we know that they shoot from the west side, in the middle of the night, specifically, in this case, it's around midnight. So we're just gonna... No. Only three hours. And with that, we should start seeing. Yeah, there we are. A night can. He's invisible. The only way you can see him is that. And we got a bunch of BBs, so. Come on, buddy. Some, luckily, for some reason, he doesn't have his BB gun out. Don't know why. Don't know why he's running away, either. BB gun. I mean, mini gun. Not BB gun. He doesn't carry a mini BB, a BB gun. He's not cool as me. And there we go. The Night King goes down. Yeah, and he's got some 5mm rounds. minigun and screams of the Brahmin. So we can head back over here and talk to Dusty. Arr. Look who's here. Dusty. Dusty. No, don't lay down, buddy. Come on. Find anything? Uh, no one's gonna attack your crowd from now on. Well, I don't know how you've done it, but I do know how I can thank you. Please take this. Compliments of Alice and myself. And help yourself to anything in that freezer over yonder. We got more steaks in there than we'd be able to eat in a year. Thanks. So we've become accepted to no in Novak, which is pretty great, because that means that we have, uh pretty good about uh, place to sell stuff and yeah there's 10 ramen steaks in here which is quite a bit of food so yeah we're definitely gonna take that and now we're gonna go talk to Manny and he'll tell us the right direction to go wait wait doc doc wait slow down yeah yeah you do you have any psycho for sale? What can I do for you? Uh, medical supplies. Psycho? No, she has no psycho. Aw. Heal my radiation. Uh, not for 100 caps. I'll wait until I'm more rag sick. Oh well, no psycho for me. Alright, so we're gonna head over here and talk to Manny. Do we have to? 
might have to wait till tomorrow to do that, but we can also just break into his room, I think. Hello. What's going on, man? Uh, who are you? I'm Manny. I'm on security detail here. You see a rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth, you got a 50-50 shot at me. Otherwise, it's boom. What do you project your town from? You name it. Anything that comes within a thousand yards that looks like trouble. Lately, we've been getting ghouls coming from the road to Repcon out to the west. Quite a few last couple days. The big threat is the Legion coming from the east. If they decide to attack with a full force, they'll run us over. But so far, we've been lucky. Who is Boone? Boone's a sniper, same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, but uh, we're not so friendly right now. Are you? Why are you on bad terms with Boone? Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. It's okay, I solved that problem. What do you argue about? Man, you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins, we were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang. I loved it. Then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. So, I enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. So are you in a gang? Were they tough? Were they tough? I was in the con, man. It doesn't get any badder. What's your tour at the NCR like? Oh, it was great. I wouldn't trade it. Something about that lifestyle, the discipline, seeing new places, making people safe. What's not to like? So why'd you leave? Uh, well, I just felt like it was time, you know? Wanted to have a home. Plus, I was up at Camp Golf when Bitter Springs went down. I faked like I was sick to get out of going because I knew some of the people there. But when everybody came back, nobody would tell me what happened, and people would call us murderers sometimes when we showed up to secure towns. What did happen at Bitter Springs? I still don't know exactly. Just that a lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. I don't blame anybody for it. There's so much chaos when you're fighting. You're lucky not to shoot your own guys. But it did take something out of it for me. This wasn't the same. So when it came time to re-enlist, I just took my papers and walked. Uh, I'm looking for a man in a checkered coat. Sure I know him. What do you want with him? Uh, I have a score to settle. Doesn't surprise me. The guy seemed like he'd do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Probably makes a lot of enemies. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. Sure, what do you need? Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They'd all have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site, but a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. What needs to be done? Well, they gotta go, or this'll be a ghost town before long. It doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. All right, I can do it. It'd mean a lot to me. Uh, all right. And you want to make sure that you get the quest from Manny instead of just going to Repcon and doing Come Fly With Me because it gives you no back pain if you uh, get the quest from Manny, but it doesn't if you just go do it. So, which is, that makes logical sense, but it's actually just really annoying. <laughs> oh, Wonder Glow. So you're going to want to be careful as you start heading up there this way, because I'm pretty sure it always spawns a glowing one up the hill here. Uh, maybe it doesn't this time around, because that one looks dead. Not worth looting either, because you get a couple rads just by going close. So. Yep, you see that? It'll be real quiet-like as we head up this way. an eye out for ghouls. Hmm, looks like we're lucky this time. 
I was pretty sure I always spawned a glowing one in this way, but not this time it looks like. Of course, I could totally be wrong to be further up the road. That looks like a normal ghoul. I don't see a glowing one. I wonder if I can hit him from here. Aw, oh, man, why'd you have to see me, buddy? Looks like critical strike, nice. Wounds hat coming in. Oh, there he is. That's the one I was worried about. So if you keep you want to kill the, the trash first to make sure they don't just keep hitting you, but you also want to make sure that you get out the glowing one away from the other guys, because if you don't, then what ends up happening is he heals them. Ah. Did you just say never? Ow. Gets stuck on the scenery, cool. Go down, go down. I don't even think I have any drugs to help me out. Man, your rads are messing me up, bro. Alright, drugs. What kind of drugs do I have? Uh, well, we'll start with some of that Brahmin steak. Uh, better drink. Dog steak. Guns plus 10, sure, why not? Got one dose of Psycho. Man, I'd really like to save that Psycho, though. Guess we'll take some Steady. Yeah, that sounds like plants. And True Police Stories. Here's our crit chance. Oh, I should have taken some Medics, too. Or Radex. Killed anyways. Ah! Oh, apparently, glowing ones can speak. I didn't know that. All right. Um. Do it. Doctor's bag and some stim packs, I guess. Gotta not get hit. Put the gun away and run. Help? Anybody? Please? Guys? There's a horrible monster behind me. Ah, Victor! Get him, Victor. Ow. Good job, guys. I have radiation poisoning, huh? I will take your dirty water. I wish your corpse wasn't, you know, right where I had to walk past it. Uh, oh yeah, the radiation on corpse, normal corpses wears off really quick, but not on... Uh, not on the one over by Repcon for some reason. Hey right, Doc, now I'll pay you to fix me up. Hello. What can I do for you? You want my radiation? Here's your hundred caps. What can I do for you? Uh, I'm hurt. I need help. All right, fix me up. And there we go. Seems to be next day, but. Uh, health and limbs are restored as well as fixing my <sighs> radiation
Radiation. Yeah, health and limbs and radiation. Yeah, I, I got it. It took me a minute. So we're going to head back up towards Repcon. Now that that ghoul is down, we shouldn't have so much trouble because I believe that's like one of the only glowing ones you'll see. He's a little bit difficult to deal with, but you can almost always kill him, especially when you're not using a BB gun. And if you can't, you can always do what I just did and lead him back into the city. See, that ghoul's normally there, and I couldn't figure out why he wasn't there last time. Maybe because it was night? Weird. I'll take your bottle caps, my friend. Man, if they respawned in, I'm going to be a little bit upset. Nope, looks like the only, there's a, one up there, but I can't hit it from this distance. Uh, take it back, can. I think that's mostly because I got lucky, but better lucky than good. Couple basics, no big deal. Almost level seven, which is pretty great. Check inside this shack here for some ammunition. Vast defense when they hit you, then you know, not be so that would pretty well. Make our way up here. Whenever you see an ash pile, um, be sure to check it because for some reason, ash piles tend to be nightkin, which means they could have stealth foots. Not always, but sometimes. Also, check Night King corpses. Duh. Uh, got a bunch of ammo here that we're going to take to sell later because it's relatively lightweight and uh, worth enough. Bunch of stims and a doctor's bag is totally worth taking. It's worth the walk up this ramp. Even though you can get up behind the fence here, that Sadly, there's nothing. It's actually fairly secure because there's nothing in either direction. Need some water. Dehydration yeah, level's gone down. And we got this little encampment with a bunch of jet, which you tot I totally need. A bed, which is decent for, you know getting your health back if you don't want to go pay for it. More ammo. Bunch of bottle caps underneath this chest board. I normally just pick up all the crap with the bottle caps and then throw it down later. Frag mines, duct tape, conductors. I don't need conductors. Bunch of energy cells. More bottle caps. Lock grenade box. I will take your grenades. Yeah, with that we actually leveled up. Nice. Um, so, what was I leveling? I can't remember. Um, I think I was going towards cowboy, which I needed melee weapons. Yeah. Pretty sure that's what it was. Huh. Hope that was right.
Yeah, I think I can get melee weapons to like 45. So yeah, you can see over there we got a bunch of uh, ghouls. One of the best things you can do is just start putting rounds into that car over there. Even with my bad blind firing, I should be able to hit it. And it. And as you can see, if you keep shooting the car, they kind of cluster all around it, and then it goes up in flames, and... Should take out more than a few of them. Yeah, the game didn't like that. Oh, uh, got sprayed with car parts and ghoul guts. Come here, ghoul. And he goes down. Nice. Quite actually, like, the in only benefit of the BB gun is the fact that it's a uh, silenced weapon. So you think, oh, I'll make a sniper build, right? No, it doesn't work that way. The spread on the BB gun is real bad. Ran out of gun. There we go. Get some bottle caps. Ghouls are actually weird because you wouldn't think they'd be worth worth looting because they're uh. They only got one thing on them most times, but it tends to be something useful or useless. Like it'll be like a single dose of a drug, some caps, or like a spoon. Um, want to keep a good eye out for all these dead ghouls because they all have uh, um, energy weapons on them, which are worth a lot of money. Newly exploded cars have uh, radiation, but cars that have been exploded for like a minute don't, so don't have to be so careful around them. Come on. Oh, hit the stairs. Oh well. Come on, die, Romer. That was a pretty impressive jump, buddy. And down he goes. Yeah, see, like, he's got a fork completely useless, but the other dude had a just a uh, cat eye on him. Before you head inside a Repcon, you want to head over this direction because uh, there's a bed here. Empty foot locker, but more important, some ammunition. And, uh,. Yeah, there's some medics in one of these cans right here. But you just just pick up all the stuff and the medics will fall out. It it wobbles out most of the time anyways. Oh, I think I'm over capacity. Which means we head over into miscellaneous and throw down that chest boards, coffee mugs. That and that. 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 Those. There we go. Um, and there's another dead break follower right here, which, uh. Ah, oh, man, stop filling up my inventory. Here, have this scrap metal.
And here's another ash pile with a rebar club, not gonna help me. More stuff to sell. Which means, uh. Guess I mean, it dumps. Oh, I got a beer, I can drink that. Strength went up. Ramen stick? Should raise my strength by one. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, so with that, I'm going to call it a part here. I'm going to go sell some stuff before uh, I head inside to the Repcon facility. So next time, join us as we head into the Repcon facility and continue on with the quest Come Fly With Me. And I'll see you later.